Hi, this is Richard with The Woodcomber's Life. Thanks for joining me. Uh, we, I have a bit of a puzzle. Uh, like a lot of parents, I've got a 24-hour notice that our son was coming home from college. And so he grabbed his GPU and a couple parts of his computer and got on a plane. And uh, once he got here, we decided we're going to build another computer. Uh, he has some of the parts, and why build a case when we could actually build a case ourselves instead of... This is basically going to start off, he has a motherboard. The thought is, basically having the motherboard, he has GPU, because what a gamer couldn't get by without their GPU, and then he has a power supply. And then a hard drive, which are getting to be the little tiny things. So my thought is basically building four posts, almost like a test bed, connecting those, and then we can basically run all the rest onto it. These are the three main parts. You got the motherboard, you got the power supply, and you have the gold-plated um, GPU. I was allowed to touch this just for this purposes, but uh, normally it's worth more than my car. Then we ended up measuring the bed to make sure the motherboard. This is Maker Slide. It's really nice stuff to work with. As you can see here, I've been measuring uh, and then using my uh, metal saw. I made a huge amount of damage and realized that uh, that didn't work, so I went to the saber saw. And that didn't really do much either, so we uh, drug out the big equipment. And then with the metal file, I was able to clean up the maker slide. And then uh, the beauty of having a micro shop is you can clean it so quickly. This is a good section to point out that spend the money and buy yourself some good drill bits. Uh, buying Harbor Freight does not pay off in a long time. So this is a good set, about 90 bucks. And I'm here fitting up the screws uh, for a six millimeter. Then after chucking up the bit, uh, I started drilling a series of holes in some cherry. What I'm working on right here is actually building stay-offs for the um, motherboard and other things at the electronics. Could have been easy enough to buy them in metal, but uh, if you have a bunch of cherry and you have the tools, why not make it yourself? Right. We can use what is called a plug cutter, and it's used for basically making plugs and that you can then fill holes with. And then the beauty of this method is take a Japanese saw and basically cut as far as the plug cutter went in. Voila! That's wooden uh, standoffs. And then micro shop clean up again. Got the big broom out for this part. Nothing's better than a clean shop. Then once we got the layout of the bed, we got these corner pieces. This is the beauty of this system, is basically it's made up of different metal parts. There's a little nut that fits onto the bolt. And then that slides into the slides. And then that's actually a captured nut. And then basically these corner pieces will go in and they make perfect 90 degree angles. So I made the bottom base, added some stand up, which I'm screwing on here. And then adding some higher one, we basically end up with the overall 
test bed that we're building for the computer in the first place. And then once we level the top part and measure it, once again, I'm using blue instead of red. Uh, it's then using the, here's the motherboard going onto the test bed. And I was adding the, once again, oh, I do not have my protective gloves on for this, but don't tell my son. And then pretty much we just add the power supply. And this is kind of the first mock-up of what the whole test bed's going to look like. The pins look like mine up like that. At this stage, we entered the clean room uh, with the supervision of my uh, Rice uh, University and electrical engineer. Uh, this is us actually fitting the processor. As you can see, this basically is a lot of power into one small little box. As you can see, my hands are not the one actually installing any of this. I guess we can. And then uh, yeah. once the processor's in the board, then we need to add the GPU, which I signed off and uh, gave to the technical people. Which one do you think will be easier for building was? Uh, I was thinking the center originally. This guy? Okay. Notice the precision in placing that right in the correct spot. Okay. And that's pretty much it. And then my son was all set up for his classes. Now wait a second. If somebody noticed um, above his shoulder is actually our backpack computer we built. Huh, I wonder what happened here. Could have been easy enough to buy them in metal, but uh, if you have a bunch of cherry and you have the tools, why not make it yourself? Oof. Well, I somewhat wish I wouldn't have recorded this, but uh, it appears that my woodworker hands uh, do not have the talent to be giving out advice related to electronics. Um, as I've been told that my seat, my cherry standoffs uh, actually uh, were too wide and ended up bending some of the back of the motherboard. Just little pieces of metal, but I'm told basically I've killed the motherboard. So we've got another one ordered. Uh, in the meantime, thanks for joining the Richard on the Woodcomber's Life. Uh, please subscribe, like it. Um, and I will do more wood projects and stay away from the computers. Take care of yourself.